Hello and welcome. And today, it's a, today's a beautiful day because it's time to talk about Higuro episode seven anime adaptation. Now, the reason I quoted anime adaptation is because why I just it's getting on my nerves to in, in, in these type of shows where it's just like you know, they're not following the series quite well, they're not. I understand doing rush hour and time issues, but come on, follow the route. You know, it's just like when The Promised Neverland came out. When The Promised Neverland came out, the first season was really good. It was remarkable. I loved it. Promised Neverland was nominated. And even though Demon Slayer won, it was still great because at least they followed the route. But then when season two came out, I... I was really excited for it when it first came out. Because I was really looking forward to it. But then when it got to that certain but then when it got to episode four with the bunker, I'm like, that's my my jaw dropped. Like it was so like, we're not following the route. So then I'm looking at Hikahiro, and I'm like, something's not right. This episode, I'll be honest, this episode was really interesting. And it was great to see because we got a little few things with uh um we got a little we got to know a little bit more about Sayu in two parts. So that's good. And with Yoshida uh being like the harem route that he's supposed to have, but it didn't go through. And one thing about this is about Kanda, which some of y'all don't know because some of us don't well, some of y'all don't read the manga. But this is what this is what I suggest you guys do. Read it. I've read it. I've read it so far, and I loved it. But still, they're not following the direction that Higa Hero has due to time issues. And I understand. But why do they not follow anime manga's routes? Like they just don't want to take chapters and put it into perspective. They just want to like push it out the way. I don't know. But again, episode seven was interesting. You know, it gave us it gave us something to talk about in this episode. Something that we gotta get into. So you know what? Let's do this in a review of Hikihiro episode 7. Let's do it. So, um, Asumi and Sayu are really, really true friends. Her best friend. And no Yuri route. I'm sick and tired of people saying this is a Yuri thing going on. There is no Yuri-ness. I don't even see it. This is, this is her first first official friend. Now, granted, ideally, if it goes to that Yuri route, I, I'm going to have to, like, look at the sky and say, really? Way to go. So, as they were working, this black car, this suspicious black car has something, like, spying on them ever since. My first, my first head just, the first thing that came to my mind was either it's a relative, choice A, a relative, Choice B, one of the few people that Sayu slept with and ran. Because remember, Sayu was a girl who just slept with other men just to be, just to have a roof over her head, have a place to stay, you know what I mean, kind of thing. So I thought, I thought that was one of them. Okay. Now, back, now back to, um, back to the conversation at hand. Um, Goto's and uh, Misa, uh, Misima's conversation in the cafeteria. I like the stand around conversation, conversation that those two had, you know, about Masuma being jealous. And it was so obvious, point blank, that she was absolutely jealous. We knew it from the beginning she was jealous of Goto. I mean, I'm not surprised. I wasn't surprised to begin with. We already knew she was jealous. But Goto, you know, I hated her at first. But then in this episode, she turned a 180 on us, guys. Goto actually turned a 180 on everybody. Saying like, saying like, I love him, but whatever, she, whatever choices that, if he wants to go out with Sayu or any of the girl, it's okay. I accept it. So it's like, wow, what a one eighty that is. <laughs> so you're just waiting for you're just waiting for Yoshida's answer, but still a one eighty like that. Can it, and Mashima just open up to her feelings as well, especially with with um, Yoshida. She's like, I love you, out loud, like you like him. So, and, and Yoshida's reaction, he just, I, I mean, like, 
I don't understand uh, Yoshida's reaction. I mean, sure, he was surprised by Mashima's reaction, saying, I like, I love you. But his re his response is so like, huh? You know what I mean? Like, it's like, he he never, it's like, you know, like when a character is supposed to, when a character says, I like you or I love you, this type of thing, they blush. But for Yoshida, he's like, huh? Because he was surprised. He was absolutely surprised by everybody saying that. And, she, and they exchanged their phone numbers. So, yeah, props for uh, Mashima actually stepping up her boundaries, saying she likes you. So now you got three girls on you. Now, the next day, you know, um, yeah, what's this? Oh, my bad. So the next day, uh, Yoshida and Sayu are cleaning, you know, all that stuff. And then Sayu fell on top of him. Now, this is what people are saying, like, oh, no, 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 no. Are they going to do it? Are they going to do it? Are they going to do it? I'm like, no. First of all, Yoshida is not that type of person to go out with Sayu because, again, Sayu's a high school girl. He's 26. He's in his 20s. You really think? You think Yoshida's going to sleep with Sayu like that? No. I'll make this clear. If Yoshida slept with Sayu, if he actually sleep with Sayu, I don't even know where to begin. My reaction to you guys, whoever watching this, my reaction is going to blow my freaking mind if this happens. That's all I got to say. My mind will blow up if there's something happening in this. But nothing happened. So while Sayu was looking at photos, he stumbled upon this uh, girl and Yoshida as well playing baseball. Now this is where now this is where people get a little mad and a little crazy. The, from the beginning, I said the anime adaptation because it's not following the series. So I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of a spoiler here, a little bit of spoiler. The girl in the photo is Kanda, and Kanda is Yoshida's ex girlfriend. Now, unfortunately. Unfortunately, Kanda is not going to appear in the series because of time issues. So that's kind of a nutshell right there. So, and on Twitter, it was announced that she's not going to appear in the series. And I got a little, little thing here. So see, that's, oh, sorry. But by a glimpse of it, you already, by the photo you saw, you saw that was um Kanda and Yoshida, but that were, you know, their ex. Now, this is what they said on the Twitter thing. And I'm going to read this. Uh, okay, so it says the official, the author of the light novels revealed that, um, uh, let's see. Okay, the animated series will not include the character Aoi Kanda, Yoshida's ex-girlfriend, due to time constraints. I mean, constraints. Constraints. Meaning we're not going to have her at all. We're just going to, like, push. We're just going to see her one time, and that's done. And that was the one time you're going to see her. But then they said... I'm sorry to Kanda fans. Her her only appearance in the anime will be through through photographs. If you want to know more about it, what's left in the anime adaptation, and if you want to know who the girl shown in the photo was, please see the original material of the manga adaptation. So, due to time restraints or whatever, Kanda is not going to appear. We're going to see photos of her, but not going to appear. Which means you guys got to have to read the latest chapter of Hika Hero. You're going to have to read chapter 27, 28 just to see her. So again, and I've read it. So, so, and I've been reading it. So, like I said, if you guys want to know more about Kanda and all our Kanda fans out there, you got to read Hika Hero and get to chapter 27 and 28. That's, that's what I'm going to say. Just, just read those chapters and you want to know more, go right ahead. But still, we got, but still, that's, that's the key thing about that one. Now, here's where it gets interesting and really fascinating about this one. I did say that in the plot, we're going to see more. I did say in this episode, no, I'm sorry. I did say in the entire series, plot-wise, Sayu's past is going to haunt her. And what we got was this moment. Think about it. Almost towards the end, this this guy came out of the black car. And right off the gate, I knew straight off the back that was Sayu's brother. And this and the thing is, I knew about this thing. I knew about this segment during like before even reading the manga. Before reading it. Like I knew from that segment just by looking at it. So when I look when I looked at it, I'm like, 
that's Sayu's brother. Right off the gate, that was Sayu's brother. And I, because I, I could tell just by the eyes. I couldn't tell by the hair. I was just looking at the eyes, the facial thing. And I'm like, oh, that's Sayu's brother. And she was hiding. And it, she was just hiding her way towards the back of the room while this jerk, well, I hate to say, I, I, I don't want to, I hate to bring this, I hate to say this guy, but, you know, this guy actually changed. He actually, well, not change, change. I'm not saying like a perfect change, but he's, uh, the guy that saw you slept with, he actually, like, about to turn a new leaf. I mean, he's about to change. I mean, by that, I mean, he's actually, uh, supporting Sayu. Supporting Sayu in some ways. And, and I know people say he should have been fired, but he's not. Uh, he stepped up. He actually stepped up to help Sayu. And we found, and there's two key points into this. We found out that not, not only that was Sayu's brother, but he got a business card and he's rich. So we knew that side. So based on what we got so far from that, you have a brother, Sayu has a brother, and she's rich. So that being said, what does Sayu do to run away from a rich family? Is it one of those things where it's just like, oh, the parents don't care about Sayu. They don't like, is it one of those things where it's like, uh, where it's like the child wants to do something but her parents doesn't want her to run. I mean, parents don't want her to do it, so she runs away. Is it going to be one of those things where she's like, oh, you brought a man over. You shouldn't be doing that. You're going to ruin your reputation. You're going to ruin our reputation on us. All those kind of things. What is those things that that makes Sayu ran away? And I hope it's not one of those things where it's just like, it's all that you sugar no Sora type thing with the, with the fraternal twins. I'm just saying. I'm just saying, but... But I, uh, but like I said, I'm just saying. But whatever, the, whatever the choices that Sayu did to run away, I hope we get more and more information on Sayu's backstory. Because right now, with the key points that we have on, with not only having a brother but and being rich, there's something more, more about this one. So we're gonna find out more. And I think later on, I think later, later as the episode progresses, we're probably gonna see Sayu's parents. Truth be told, there's more to this than meets the eye. So we'll. Let's see. Let's see how this goes. But again, I love this episode. This episode was correct. So overall, let me say this. Overall, I find this episode quite interesting, you know, with with confession being open up with Masuma, you know, Masuma's being open with her confession, saying she liked uh, Yoshida. Um, and the other key point was, the, I'm sorry, that was one key point. The other key point is we're not going to see Kanda anymore due to time stream, due to time, due to time issues. Um, Kanda is not going to appear in the series. Sadly, but true. And third, we found out that us, we found out that Sayu has a brother and she's rich. So we'll see where the direction goes for Sayu as she has. We'll see. We'll see the direction of Sayu is. And I got this feeling that the brother is going to visit. Sayu's brother is going to visit Yoshida in the apartment that she's staying in. I got this feeling it's going to happen, but let's see. Now, and like I said, the whole plot of Sayu's thing, uh, Sayu's timeline thing, is getting there. It's gonna, it's gonna add a few binds into it. So let's see where the direction is for Sayu, and, and hopefully we'll get more and more details as the episode progresses. But that, like I said, good episode. So I look forward for next week's episode of Hika Hero, and let's see where the tensions of the brother. We'll hope we see the brother again, but let's see where it goes. Let's see how this goes for the Yoshida and Sayus. Let's, let's just see. So I look forward for next week's episode of Hika Hero, and I hope you all.